One of the biggest misconceptions in the photography world today is that you need a tripod. And in the vast majority of cases, it's just not true. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna be talking about exactly why you don't need one. Now, I'm sure everyone watching is guilty of doing this, including me for many years. And that is when you go to a new location and you set your bag down. And the first thing you do is set down your tripod or start opening up your tripod legs to extend it. And the moment you do this, instantaneously, you have put a roadblock between you and creativity. Because now, if you want to get lower or if you want to get higher, you need to start dicking around with the tripod legs. Or if you want to do vertical, okay, well now you gotta unscrew your little Arca Swiss plate and then go vertical and then twist it back and then you say, oh, I don't know if I like it. And then you gotta start messing around with the ball head. And it becomes an entire process that prevents you from finding a good composition or being creative. I don't know who made this rule that you need a tripod, but photography is so much more than some old dork in a photography vest full of lens protectors talking about his new Gitzo. Virtually all cameras today perform great at ridiculously high ISOs. There's incredible AI noise reduction and of course in-body image stabilization, which really negate the need for a tripod in most situations. Now, obviously I have a tripod. I've got three tripods in my closet over there. Of course, they're useful when focus stacking or shooting in low light conditions or when doing astrophotography. But the point is in the vast majority of situations, a tripod is not necessarily needed. And setting one up first is going to, you know, basically build a wall between you and creativity. Usually what I tell participants who go on a workshop with me is to find a composition first off of the tripod. And then if you feel more comfortable with a tripod, set it up then, but only do so after you found the good composition. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of a trip I took out last night to the Vermilion Cliffs, where the only tripod I brought was for the GoPro I was filming myself with. After a very long and bumpy off-road drive to get to this location and scrambling around on these buttes, I came across this incredible pool that was providing a perfect reflection of these strange rock formations. I soon realized that in order to get the perfect reflection that I wanted, I needed to get my camera as low as possible. And then I also wanted to incorporate some foreground with the sandstone below. You can see here that in order to get low enough, I actually had to rest my camera on the ground and then had to prop it up with a little stick here just to get a little bit more height that I needed to get everything in frame. I ended up liking the vertical composition more and you can see here I am focus stacking the scene because I am so close to the foreground. And here is the final shot, uh, the results of which I'm extremely happy with. I love the foreground leading into the reflection, which then is mirrored. And then of course you have the sky going on behind it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And please remember, fuck your tripod.